Hello and welcome to the Electrocom YouTube channel. I am Shahid. Today I'm gonna explain the DTH. What is DTH? It stands for direct to home and the process of receiving the television signals directly from communication satellite. Different DTH service providers are Tata Sky, Dish TV, Videocon D2H, Sun Direct, Airtel, and so on. What is satellite? It is an object which revolves around the Earth to perform various operations such as GPS, DTH, navigation, and so on. In this application, satellite revolves around the Earth in geosynchronous Earth orbit. So geosynchronous Earth orbit is far away from the Earth. The total distance between geosynchronous Earth orbit and Earth is 36,000 kilometers and satellite in this orbit requires 24 hours to complete one cycle. How does satellite work? It mainly uses two links, uplink and downlink. Uplink is the connection through which Earth station transmits the information or electromagnetic waves to the communication satellite. The downlink is also a connection through which Earth station receives the electromagnetic waves or information from communication satellite. Remember, the uplink frequency should always be higher than the downlink frequency in order to avoid noise, interference and collision. The radio waves are used as a medium between earth station and communication satellite. The main component of satellite is a transponder. The communication satellite containing multiple transponders on it. The transponders are combination of transmitter and receiver they perform following functions. They receive the signal, amplify the signal, remove the noise from the signal, and retransmit the signal back to the Earth. In which orbit satellite revolves around the Earth? For the television applications, satellite is revolving around the Earth in geosynchronous Earth orbit, in short, geo-orbit. The transponders are rented by television channels from NASA, ISRO, etc. organizations. Earlier days, we were using C band of the frequency 4 to 8 gigahertz. They were using large sized antenna to receive the electromagnetic waves from the satellite. Nowadays, we are using KU band of the frequency 12 to 18 gigahertz. This allows us to receive the electromagnetic waves directly from the communication satellite using small sized antennas called DISH. Let's understand the block diagram of DTH. The functions of each block. Program source, these are television channels which will perform the contents. Sub, Sony, Z, etc. are the program sources. Broadcast center are none other than DTS service providers. They perform the following video formatting. MPEG compression, standardization of bitrate, encryption of the signals are performed by the broadcasting center. Then these signals are given to transmitting antenna. It beams the electromagnetic wave signal to the communication satellite via uplink. The satellite is an object revolving around the Earth in geosynchronous Earth orbit for television applications. It contains multiple transponders printed by television channels. Receiving antenna is rooftop antenna placed on top of your house 
to receive the electromagnetic waves from satellite. The main component of TV dish is LNB. It stands for low noise block. Once the information or electromagnetic waves are received from parabola, it reflects the signal towards the LNB. It converts the given radio frequency signals into the television signals and connect it to the coaxial cable. The coaxial cable is used as a medium which carries television signals from dish to the TV. Another important component of DTH system is a set-top box. The converted signal from LNB is sent to the satellite receiver called as set-top box through the coaxial cable. The set-top box containing the smart card in it which perform decryption operation in order to provide the protection against unauthorized access. It's also capable of identifying the subscription of the subscriber or user for how many number of days he can watch the television channels, for how many channels he has paid, and how many freely available channels he is having. Every data will be in the smart card. So finally, after decryption and all processing, the set-top box sends the television signal to the TV set, where the user can watch all the television programs without or with small amount of noise and interference. Let's see some advantages of DTH. The DTH pro allows you to watch TV programs with less noise and interference, more the number of channels comparing to earlier days. Nowadays we can watch up to 400 channels in TV, no buffering comparing to the smartphone bufferings, improved picture quality comparing to last decade, minimum latency, typically 0.5 second of delay we are observing in the DTH system. DTH system also has 5 disadvantages. It doesn't work well during rainy season and it is not working properly in snowfall and it is capable of working when the dish is not pointed exactly towards the satellite. The satellite can transmit the signal but the DTH won't receive the signal if it is not pointed towards the communication satellite. Nowadays the DTH is becoming more and more expensive because of its enhanced features, improved picture, sound, videos, quality and so on. This is all about the DTH. If you have any doubts with respect to DTH, you can ask me on comment section. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get the latest update from Electrocom YouTube channel. Thank you.